good evening everyone so today we will be continuing the uh, class on design of built up compression members where today we will be consider uh, concentrating uh, mainly on lacings okay uh, what are the lacings they are the members which are required to connect the channel sections okay in our situation there are two channel sections ismc 350 this one and this one two channel sections and if we look into the column along the length uh, this will be the column this one is the top view and this one is the view along the length okay so here also we can see that these are the two channel sections and they are uh, in order to work in uh, together they have to be connected by members like this and these are called as lacings okay so you see the lacings are fitted in this manner and uh, these are the bolts that are used to fit the lacings into the channels okay so let's start now uh, there were uh, like basically uh, two doubts which uh, was asked to me uh, one is that uh, slenderness ratio 1.05 into le by r uh, rxx why we take 1.05 uh, we have not taken it in uh, other problems why we are taking it as 1.05 here uh, that 1.05 it is there in the IS code actually you look into the IS code uh, let me tell you the clause okay the clause is 7.6.1.5 Here you will see that it is clearly written that the slenderness ratio should be taken as 1.05 times. So that's why we multiply it. Okay, so uh, we take it as 45 the effective length of prismatic compression members is 800 page number 45 last one so these values are actually the recommended values okay that means what actually the value is 0.65 the last one if you see for the you can see here uh, this one last one this one last one so for both hands fixed it is 0.65 this one 0.65 so these are actually recommended values that means even if the value is actually 0.5 for both ends fixed the is code has recommended that we should use 0.65 instead of 0.5 okay so you should remember that that means 0.65 is recommended okay actually it is 0.5 but 0.65 is the recommended value so that's why we take k is equal to 0.65 so i hope uh, those two doubts are clear about uh, why we take 1.05 in the slenderness ratio 
formula and for evaluating 0.65 k in both ends fixed okay standard issue i have given you the clause 7.6.1.5 you will know it and um, 0.65 is actually recommended okay even if it is 0.5 it is recommended as 0.65 Okay, so now uh, you have seen that uh, this, these things are inclined, isn't it? They are inclined, uh, so obviously they will have an angle of inclination. So if I take the horizontal inclination with respect to the horizontal, that means suppose this is the horizontal line okay and this lacing is inclined so there is an angle theta so how much shall we take the value of theta so it is also there in the is code okay so you can take it out and you can see that this angle i'm just uh, taking it out okay Close 7.6.4 Close 7.6.4 It is written that the angle of inclination should be within 40 and 70 degree So that is the thing that you need to understand For theta plus 7.6.4 so when it is said to us that it should be between 40 and 70 so let us take 45 degree because it will help us in the calculations I will tell you how so first of all let us assume that theta is 45 degree okay so it is done now uh, there is one thing that uh, we'll look into which is this L naught this L naught is the spacing it is generally called as the spacing and one more thing which is this 50 this is the Gauss length it's written here this part you see when we fix the first of all there is one axis cyy don't make it confused okay cyy this is the distance of y axis from the back here also this is cyy distance of this axis from this back side distance of this axis from the back side don't you make it uh, and don't get confused now uh, when we are using this lacing we have to fix it with a bolt here also here also wherever we fix the lacing we have to fix it with bolt so the center of the bolt the distance from the center of the bolt to this back side is taken as generally 50 and this is the gauze length so here also the distance of this center of the bolt from this back side this is the back side the back side so distance of the center of the bolt from here is the gauze length distance of the center of the bolt from this back is the gauze length here also this will be the gauze length so i hope you are clear don't make it uh, confused with cyy cyy will be obviously a little uh, here because cyy is what it is less than 50 isn't it if you see the steel level you will see it is less than 50 so cyy will be somewhere here okay and 50 since it is greater it will go somewhere here okay so cyy will be inside 
and it is not merging with this 50 okay see why why and this goes length are extremely different okay don't make it confused they are separate entities now since we have the gauss length what is the total length here total length will be this one is 220 so total length will be how much it will be 220 plus 50 plus 50 so that is what distance between the bolt lines okay that means this is the bolt this is the bolt these are the bolt lines bolt lines so this 320 220 plus 50 plus 50 is the distance between the bolt line is the line passing through the bolt and the line passing through the bolt here so that is the total length which is uh, 320 220 plus 50 plus 50 so we can write it down 320 is equal to the distance between the bolt lines So it is done. Now, if this is 320, how much will be this one? Can you tell me? This is 45 degree. If you take it as a triangle, this one, this one, and this one as a triangle. So let's make the triangle. Okay, then it will be much more clear to you. Are you getting my point? This point is this one, this point is this one, and this point is this one. This is a triangle. So if this is 45 degree, how much will be this line? This line will also be same to 320. So this is just sim simply this is geometry okay if this is 45 degree and this is obviously 90 degree okay and this is 45 so this is 320 and obviously this will be 320 so you can write it here I'm repeating again okay in this triangle this point is this one this point is this one and this point is this one so now this is 45 degree okay so this one is if it is 320 this one will also be 320 because you see here uh, if you consider 10 45 is equal to what perpendicular by base isn't it so suppose this is x okay suppose this is x Ten forty five degrees equal to perpendicular by base. Okay, so x by three twenty. So ten forty five we know is one. So x becomes three twenty. So that's why we can also write three twenty here. What will be for this condition? 
it will also be the same okay but let us go in details this one is also 45 degree okay now if we make this triangle this point is this one this point is this one and this point is this one okay now um, if we use 10 45 degree this is the reason why we use 45 degree because it makes our calculations easier okay if we had, would have used 50 or 60 here here then this calculation would have become a little bit um, like you say uncomfortable because if we use 45 degree we can directly write it as 1 then 45 degree is 1 so it makes our calculations easier so it is like uh, we can say uh, easy way okay to keep us away from any trouble okay of like in complicated calculations so that's why you i would always recommend you to take 45 degree because uh, then the calculation becomes simple now uh, since uh, we have got this as 320 and write it here now you look this 320 plus 320 is actually what l naught so l naught is how much 640 we can write it down so here we have we have the l naught so spacing we have got gauss length we have got then we have got what uh, we have um, uh, yeah basically this goes length and the spacing we have uh, we have decided now let us uh, try to find out the length of the lacing you can easily find out the length uh, because obviously we have to use trigonometry let us see how let us take this uh, lacing for example you see whatever the length of this lacing uh, we get and this will be the same for this lacing also okay and it will be same for the consecutive lacings if we use later on so for this triangle okay if i want to find out the length of the lacing so how will you do it this one we require you see in this triangle this one is this one this one is this one and this one is l so this one is the length of, you may yeah length of the lacing okay you may think that we have taken the length from the center of this bolt to this center okay but you see uh, you may think that this part is missed out and this part is missed out and yeah uh, but that is generally ignored okay in the books also generally this value is ignored you take the length of the lacing from the center to center only okay that means from this center to this center which is from here to here we don't consider this this gap and this gap okay and uh, you don't have to worry about it it does not make so much of difference okay it does not have any effect that's why people skip it they don't consider this and this they just consider till the from this center to this center 
okay so now let us use trigonometry if this is the uh, hypotenuse and this is the perpendicular this is the base so if i use uh, sin theta or cos theta we can directly find it isn't it so how much will we get we can do it like this isn't it sin theta equal to what perpendicular by hypotenuse so perpendicular is 320 and hypotenuse is this one so how much will you get how much will be the value here for L so this one is the effective length okay of the lacing uh, 320 divided by sine 45 which will become as 452.54 now this we have got uh, after this uh, calculation of the length our next step is to uh, we have to refer to a clause which is 7.6.5.1 just go through it So um, I will just uh, let uh, let you know about this clause in an easy language rather than just going line by line in the book, okay? In the IS code, um, I'll just uh, explain it to you in my own language. So what they have told in the clause seven point six point five point one is that. First, you have to consider this value, okay? L0 by RYY. It should be less than 50. And it also should be less than Point seven times of L e by R x x. So this R y y R x x are the values that we get for the individual ISMC sections that you already have uh, got in the steel table. Okay, so R y y is uh, around how much? Twenty eight point three, and R x x is 136.6 so you have to do this check these are actually check okay they have mm, they have obviously these clauses uh, in the is code are made after doing lots of research so after doing the research they have seen that uh, this type of checking should be done if this type of situation is uh, satisfied then we can say that our design is going on in the right way so now uh, what is l0 by ryy let us find it out yeah. 640 by 28.3 is it less than 50 obviously it is less than 50 and what is uh, the value of 0.7 of L e into R X X this 
just calculate the value let's see and tell me how much uh, you are getting as the value of 0.7 times of le by r xx Twenty nine point nine seven, isn't it? And how much is this one? Twenty two point six one, isn't it? So these are satisfied, isn't it? So just go to that calculation, just check it once again. We can write it like this. It is coming as less than fifty, and also this one is twenty nine point nine seven. So this one is also less than twenty nine point. Uh, we can see here. Uh, Point seven times L by since this is what twenty nine point twenty nine point nine seven, isn't it? So these are satisfied. So ultimately we can say that these two are satisfied. So our our checking is done according to clause 7.6.5.1 after that uh, we'll go into the calculation of the width and the thickness of the lacings so if you want to see the uh, if you want to calculate the thickness of the lacing it should be minimum one one by forty times of the length of the single lacing. That means thickness is one by forty times of the length of the single lacing. I will tell you uh, the clause in which it is there, but you should write it down. Okay. So uh, obviously we can find out the thickness from here. Thickness is this one is the width. This one is the length. Thickness will be this one. Okay. So it is one by forty times of the effective length of the lacing and length also we have got. Okay. So you calculate it. See how much we have got the effective length as four hundred something, isn't it? More than four hundred. So. Uh, you put it there and this L this L is the effective length of the lacing so find out how much it is whatever value you get you have to put a minimum thickness of that value okay suppose you are getting 10.2 okay that means you have to give at least 11 or if you want 12 like that so fine we will be continuing it in the next class okay next class we'll be discussing the thickness then the width okay and after that we'll be checking how much the lacing how much strength in tension and compression the lacing can take okay that means 
how much tension and compression the leasing can take that we will be looking okay so thank you very much